the jaw-dropping fashion, and the stars brought plenty of SAG Awards glamour to the gray carpet. The marvelous Mrs. Rachel is here. Girl, you look gorgeous. What? Let what? me just. We were going for Hollywood. We were going for Diane Carroll. We were going for Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. Um, we were going for fashion. You wore your purple. Yeah, I wore my purple. I'm prepared. <laughs> Tell me about the dress. This is Chanel Couture. Givenchy. 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 I've never won anything like this before, and I feel amazing. Brie Larson gets our Style Standout Award. Her absolutely amazing two-piece custom peach Versace was 90s inspired. How do you get this in a car? Um, I had to stand. <laughs> How in the world did you get here? A handy dandy sprinter van, and the Bear Wang team came with me, and it was great. Ali Wong needed a sprinter van too for her show stopping 3D gown, dripping and floating diamond shaped cutouts. Inside, she lost the dramatic sleeves, while Elizabeth Debicki, who won for her role in The Crown, ditched her shoes. I kicked them off because they're, kind of, they're very flat and quite slippery. Right. So I didn't sort of slip them on properly, so yeah. I jumped up and then it was a disaster. Margot Robbie served up sculpted Scaparelli with, what else, billowing Barbie pink. Sierra stunned in latex two months after welcoming baby number four. And winner for best double take, Danielle Brooks, whose custom gown was two looks in one. That's also what I'm really excited about, is people seeing women in different sizes looking good. You know what I'm saying? Jennifer Aniston was looking good in Silver Celine. She wins best throwback, rocking the Rachel for the second time this year. And speaking of hair. I love the short hair. I'm always transforming the hair for characters. And, and this time I said, no, I need to do something for me. So just cut it. Selena Gomez was beautiful in bridal white. Winner Davine Joy Randolph opted for ivory. The magnolias, it's like antiquated, but like timeless and vintage. Right? Damn. This might be the heaviest Damn. one yet. That's heavy as I mean, it's all of humanity. Lily Gladstone picked up her win in Red Hot Armani with 200 fringes. But the trend of the night, not so basic black. I'm doing a little bit of Morticia Adams. Oh my God, my daughter who continues to style us all from head to toe. Ivy Coco 23, I am so glad that I birthed my own design team. Hannah Waddingham did a quick change, matching her Ted Lasso castmates in AFC Richmond tracksuits as they celebrated and danced at the after party. But on the red carpet, she wins best one-of-a-kind accessory, courtesy of her nine-year-old daughter. Who so made this for me? Epic. Epic. And she said to me, Mommy, it goes with everything and nothing, like you say. Oh. That's a well-trained baby right there.